Hello beautiful people! Welcome to Mega Stitches. My name is Milka and today I have a little tutorial for you guys of how to dye fabric um, for cross stitch. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be... a lot of people have been asking for this video so I'm just gonna try to make it as quick as possible. I'm going to try to do two types or two ways to hand dye it right um i'm gonna show you what i'm going to be using today um i'm gonna be dyeing dmc charles craft silver stander white and um this is like a cream color right i'm also gonna be using two little containers one smaller than the other one plastic and one is crystal it don't matter it is glass sorry it don't matter what type it is if it's plastic or if it's um glass container um what the two ways that i'm going to show you guys is that if you do it in a smaller container right the modeling will be more crazier more cool i don't know how to explain but i'm going to show you and if you do it in a bigger container your modeling will be more subtle so that's a rule <laughs> i have a measuring cup I also have measuring spoons. I have plastic spoons so we can stir. And that way I don't have to pay attention to it and just throw it away after I'm done. And we're gonna be using foil paper. Also napkins. Just regular salt. Gloves, gloves, and gloves, please. <laughs> yeah, they can dye your fingers. And obviously, I'm using red dye today. And this is all-purpose all dye. So, um, and this is royal blue. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, so I'll see in the process of making this video, okay? But the brand I'm using is red dye. And this is the, oh, if this focus, well, it doesn't want to focus, but it is the all-purpose dye. And today, usually the all-purpose is for cotton, wool, nylon, and more. So I'm going to be using uh, in art. And this is cotton. I believe. Yep, 100% cotton. Perfect. If if you're gonna dye, please use uh uh ooh, how do you call this? Un delantar. <laughs> this. I don't know how to call it. Oh my god, I just forgot about it. Whatever. You guys know what I mean. Just use this type of thing, and you put it on your on your uh, over your clothes so you don't damage your clothes. Or you can just use black or a t-shirt or pants so you don't even care about them. That they're like old when you're dying, right? I'm not going to use it because I don't care about this shirt that much. Um, and it's black. But if you want to prevent from damaging any type of clothes, just, just use something that you can cover yourself with. I have two more containers. I use this one, cheap one, bought at the dollar store. And this one, oops, sorry, wait. And this one, uh, this one I used to kind of um, cl cleanse my fabric and this one I use to um, w when I'm using the fixable dye which is this to kind of in intensify the color right something that you really need to know um, is that if you're dyeing fabric please 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 don't use the containers that you are going to be using today for cooking like you have to have it separate I have a whole tote that I put all my dyeing stuff there and I don't mix it with my kitchen stuff because obviously we are working with chemicals okay um, another thing that you have to have is a boiling pan of water, just tap water, regular water. Um, I put it in high and let's just get to this. Let's start this. I'm going to start by covering my workstation. Um, this is just to pre prevent what, you know, to prevent from damaging any your counter or anything like that. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of napkin and I'm going to put it in the side here or maybe here. Um, what I use this for is to check like my colors to see if they're so dark or so light. Basically that's what I use it for. And I'm going to grab a cup.
Okay, so I'm going to start using these two colors, tan and then caramel. And this is for the first fabric. And for the second fabric, I'm going to use indigo and royal blue. I'm not sure. Let's see. Because I want a very dark blue, so I'm not sure if I'm going to change it. I'll see in the, during the process. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is going to open up the fabrics. And we're going to kind of wash them in the sink with just warm water and the reason why we do this is because it will open up the fibers of the fabric and it will take very very nicely the dye so what we're going to do is that we are going to uh use the container we're going to put it in the sink and we're going to wet the fabric with warm water so um the fibers just open up <laughs> okay so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to start with the cream fabric and we're going to use tan i uh, don't want this color to be so dark so i'm going to try to be very very light because the dark color is the caramel and Sorry guys, I'm using this voiceover thing and I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> but yeah, use your gloves. Put your gloves on, get yourself ready, right? And what we are going to do is what we are going to shake very, very well the bottle because all the... <laughs> the dye will be sitting on the bottom of the bottle, okay? So I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to grab hmm, one cup of boiling water. One cup, hmm, one cup and a half. It depends on you. It don't matter. You just have to check the color and, um, you know, there's no scientific way of doing this. So we're going to use one fourth of a spoon. It's the smallest spoon on a measurement. And we are going, I'm going to add one little one fourth of a spoon. And then I'm going to shake it or mix it. And I'm going to add some salt to this and something like about that. And we're going to stir. And we're going to check the color. I think this color is quite a little bit too light. So I'm going to add half of one fourth of a teaspoon. And I'm going to check. And I think that's good. I don't want this to be so dark just because, you know, you can always get it darker if it's too light so we're gonna test the color um, to see and I do see that it's very very light but you will be able to see the color in the fabric and if it's too light you can always as I said you can always put more dye okay let's grab my fabric from the sink and you got to get all the water out because it can prevent the dye from getting into the fabric. So just make sure to squeeze it very well. Okay, I don't want any type of modeling in this step. Um, I just I just want to dye the whole fabric. So I'm not going to do any type of, like, you know, squeezing it or I'm just going to... Put it laying down there very nicely, not too tight, and I'm just gonna pour my dye. You can use the spoon if it's too hot for you to put your fingers in. Some people like to uh, flip it. I don't flip it. I just let it sit there for 10 minutes, but you know. And if you see that the dye is, you know, not too dark, you can go ahead Pour the extra dye from your container and add more dye. I'm just gonna add one more, uh, one fourth of a spoon. And mm, let me see, let me just add half of it. And I think that's better. And I'm gonna pour it again. And definitely you can see that this one is a little bit more darker. And that's perfect. That's definitely perfect. Alrighty, so I'm going to leave this for 10 minutes and over there and I'm going to start doing my second one. Alright.
so while that other one is actually waiting for 10 minutes let's start with the other one i'm gonna grab my fabric my new container i'm gonna clean up my other containers just to make sure i don't have any dye from the other one and i'm gonna grab i'm gonna grab two cups for this one boiling water and i don't know what color i'm going to use so i'm gonna start shaking them and i'm gonna try both colors in the little cups to see which one is darker so i'm gonna use these little cups i'm gonna grab some um boiling water let's see and i'm gonna use one fourth of a spoon and i'm gonna test the color to see what how it is okay i like that let me close this and show you how does that look and this is indigo now we're gonna try royal blue Oops, sorry guys, my husband called me <laughs> and I had to kind of <laughs> repeat the process. Where were we? Okay, so um, I'm going to add half of the one-fourth of a spoon. Oh, I also put half on the other cup for royal, for indigo. Um, I forgot to tell you guys, sorry. <laughs> but this is royal blue and this is indigo. I think I'm going to go with indigo because it's darker. And that's what I'm trying to, you know, look for this time. A darker color in the fabric. All right. I'm going to just pour it, the water that I had there. Just because probably in the time that my husband was calling me, um, this water kind of cold. <laughs> Got cold. I'm going to pour that test, little test dye that I was using. And I'm obviously going to add more. Just because I added more water. And I'm gonna start with one, mm, one little fourth of a spoon. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna add half. I'm gonna stir. And I am going to double check the color. I think that's good. I think that's good. That looks good. Okay, let me grab my fabric from the sink. And I'm gonna squeeze all the water out. And again, I just want my fabric um, to dye completely. I don't want to do any type of crazy modeling on it. So I'm just going to pour in the big container. And oops, I forgot the salt. <laughs> don't forget the salt. And what I have heard about the salt, what the salt does is that the salt is, the dye is like repellent. If that's how you say it, but... <laughs> The, the dye will say, oh my god, no, I don't want salt on me or near me. So it will go somewhere else. And in this case, it will go to the fabric. And just like that, you can move it around a little bit. You can use a spoon if it's too hot. Kind of move it around so, that, you know, the dye can get all over the fabric. I don't want any white spots. And, oh, I forgot. This is how it looks. <laughs> now I'm going to put it or set it aside for 10 minutes. Okay. So now since uh, we already finished with all that, we're going to start with the second step. I'm going to try to clean up a little bit my station. Um, just because I'm going to work with another color, uh, another dye, right? Which is the, the brown one or the tan one. I'm going to take off all the excess water or the excess dye from the container. And you can even tell it's not so cream now, you know, it's ecru. Now it's, it's like brown, a little brown. It's nicer. And I'm going to squeeze all the, all the ink, <laughs> not the ink, all the dye out. And I don't want to lay down this fabric on my working station just because I don't know if it has any type of blue. So I'm just going to grab it in my hand and I'm going to do this motion. And I'm going to squeeze, 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 squeeze. And this is how I do it. I mean, there's probably people that do it differently but this is how i do i just kind of get it all together like in a little ball starting from the center and then uh grabbing the ends 
And when it looks like that, you'll put it on your small container, in a very, very tight container. And you really want to push down that fabric. Okay, so now we're ready to prepare the darker caramel color. You can use the um, extra dye that you had from, you know, from what you just dyed, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna use fresh hot water and I'm going to shake my caramel color and add one fourth of a teaspoon. And clean it up a little bit and we're adding one fourth of a teaspoon. I'm gonna shake it and I want it a little bit darker, so I'm gonna add half. Mm, what about a little bit more? <laughs> I really like this dark. Okay, then you just test it. Just, just test it with your napkin until you see a color that you like. But this is how you can see the, the caramel color in the napkin. It's very dark, it's nice. You're just gonna grab a spoon and kinda the, the thing that you're going to do, let me try to show you, you're going to do an X. You're going to do like an X and then in the center. That's how you're going to apply the second step. You're going to try to avoid to go over the container because you don't want your fabric to get all dark. So just halfway, okay guys? And also in the bottom. Okay, let me see if I can show you guys. So we're gonna just insert or pour. If you can see, it becomes darker, which is gonna be pretty, pretty nice at the end. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to add salt <laughs> to the little cup. So, <laughs> look at me making a tutorial and I'm already making mistakes. Well, you don't forget about it, okay? I'm going to try not to forget on the second one. But yeah, I'm going to leave this for 10 more minutes um, to the side. Just just double check, you know, that you don't have extra dye going up and if you like over your fabric. And if you do, just pour a little bit out that's okay and just set it aside for 10 minutes i'm going to do the same thing for the blue one I'm gonna open the fabric just to check how it died and I do see like a little lighter white area right here but it don't matter because I'm going to do the second step and I'm gonna just squeeze it all in make it like a little ball and I'm gonna use a tight container a smaller container Alright, it's all tight. 
and don't forget the salt <laughs> all right we shake the dye and we're going to add let me clean my spoon we're gonna uh, uh, add one fourth of a teaspoon and check the color and I really like this color Ooh, that's pretty but I'm gonna add a little bit more Oof, what I'm doing oh my god oops <laughs> okay let's close this up and we're going to do the same process that we did we're going to start the X I do see that there's like a lighter area on the side so oh sorry <laughs> there you go you can see the white area so what you can do is you can put more dye in that area because we don't want any white and if the dye is actually not going through because the container is too tight what you can do is you can push the fabric with your spoon a little bit right and then you can add the fab uh the dye and that should be good you see the dye went through perfect Okay, so now these beautiful fabrics are ready to be washed and rinsed. But before that, we have to do one more step. And it's the step that I love. Um, we're going to grab a Pyrex. And we I don't know if you noticed, but I actually added more water to my pan and get it to boil. This process needs to have very, very hot water, like boiling, right? So let me grab something to, to grab this pan. Just be careful when pouring this water is pretty, pretty hot, as you can tell. And I kind of usually just put it halfway, this container, this uh, Pyrex. And this is going to go from the dye container to this clear one, right? And the product that we're going to be using is this one. Color Stay Fixable, fixable Dye. <laughs> and I usually put three little portions. And be careful just because color stay dye fixable this is the name okay um be careful because even though it's clear it's a chemical um and we're gonna grab our fabric and we're gonna open it up and see what we got and i'm just loving this loving the modeling on this fabric look at that people this is beautiful 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 my god i love it can you see? I'm not sure if you guys can see, but look at that. Oh my God. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna stir the, what we just put in um, the fixable dye. And then we're just gonna insert the fabric. Just try to cover the whole fabric with water. It needs to be covered. And I'm going to leave this for 30 minutes. And if it's too hot, use a spoon. Um, and every, you know, like every couple, I don't know, 10 minutes, just move your fabric. Okay. 
30 minutes have been done like we already have this fabric in thir for 30 minutes and what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash it on very cold water and the reason why we use cold water at the end of the step is to actually um close all the fibers and the dye can you know be set since this brownish or tan color didn't leave too much left over i'm gonna use the same water it don't matter unless you use a very dark color look this beautiful blue people oh my god look how beautiful and this is indigo mm, beautiful and i'm gonna leave this for 30 more minutes again and stir it every 10 minutes or something like that. The last thing that we're going to do is kind of try to get all the water out and we're gonna shake it <laughs> and we're gonna lay flat and we're gonna try to kind of stretch it out just to make it easier for our last step which is ironing it. Look at how beautiful this looks. Doesn't this look beautiful? Pretty! <laughs> And if you think that this is too dark for your own liking, just don't do step number two, which is using the darker colors, okay? And uh, what I do, I just let it dry and then iron them. I'm gonna try doing this the other step, or actually the second fabric. And I'm actually going to show you guys how cool this is. Um, after I wash my fabric, you can barely see any dye on the water, on the cold water. So I'm going to, let me hold on, let me take all the water out and let me show you this, uh, this container. I just washed it and look how clear the water looks. I can't see, you can't see any dye, barely. That's the cool thing about the fixable dye. That's the extra step that I do so I don't have issues with color getting out and nothing like that. Just lay flat and do the same steps. Well, perfect. And look, this is the color that I was able to achieve. How cute is that? So beautiful. And I just let it dry. And obviously, all fabrics get lighter when you dry and iron them. Well, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoy and happy stitching.